Hello to you, I'm Murad Boumhidi, I'm a Moroccan teacher and in this video we will learn something about international organization. So I am addressing mainly the Moroccan second back student. We will cover four points in this part. First, what is an international organization? Second, we will mention some famous world organizations. Third, we will answer this question what do world organizations do and finally in the evaluation section I will test you with an easy quiz to see to what extent you will grasp the lesson so let's go first let us start with the definition of an international organization what is an international organization According to Wikipedia, an international organization is a foundation that works on a global scale and have different objectives. While well, I guess that this definition is not enough to have a clearer picture of what an international organization is. For this, let's take a look at these familiar pictures. If you are a football fan, then you've probably come across this t-shirt with that logo on it that logo happens to be for one of the famous international organizations called the unicef and if you watch international news you might be seeing troops with blue helmets those, so those are soldiers of an international organization called the un or the united nations whose job is to keep peace around the world. The Red Cross and Red Crescent, you usually see them on ambulances, first aid local organizations, etc. However, the Red Cross and the Red Crescent is the logo of an international organization called the IFRC. Now, let's say more international organizations with their rules. Start with International Federation of Red Cross and the Red Crescent, the United Nations, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or briefly the UNESCO, World Health Organization, known as the WHO, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Food and Agriculture Organization, briefly FAO, World Trade Organization, UNICEF or the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, the Amnesty International. Now that we've given examples of international organizations, let's talk about what these organizations do, in other words, what are their roles and objectives. Let's get started talking about the United Nations and some of its objectives. The UN aims at promoting peace and tolerance, and this is by solving international conflicts, resolve bilateral conflicts between two countries, and develop friendly relations among nations. We can come up with the fact that the United Nations plays a similar role to that of the referee in a football match, for that both of them try to keep things under control using law for a fair game. As I've mentioned in the definition before, every organization has different objectives. For instance, fighting epidemics like COVID-19 is the job of the WHO. Fighting famine is a job of the foul, whereas helping victims of war's job lies upon the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent. Caring for refugees is up to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. As for caring for children, the UNICEF is there for every child. In the same way, these are some other different 
objectives for different international organizations preserving the environment, combating corruption, promoting peace and tolerance, preserving wildlife, helping victims of natural disasters, providing humanitarian aid, promoting education and knowledge. And now that we spoke about uh, some famous international organizations and their objectives and roles, let me test you to see to what extent you've been paying attention to the presentation part. With this quiz, you will have to answer five questions. To help you, I will give you three choices for each question, and only one choice is correct. All right, let's get started. Well, let's start with the first question. The United Nations was established in 1945 after the World War II and it has many goals set. So, which one of these is the goal of the United Nations? 1. Fighting epidemics 2. Promoting peace and tolerance or promoting education and knowledge. Time begins. Well then, the answer is promoting peace and tolerance. Let's move on to the next question. UNICEF works in more than 190 countries, countries around the world. The question is, which one of these is the goal of the UNICEF? Fighting famine, resolve bilateral conflict, or care for children? Time begins. <laughs> Children. Question 3. The World Health Organization, also known as the WHO, has its headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. The agency was founded as a part of the United Nations in 1948 after the World War II. Which one of these is a the goal of the World Health Organization? 1. Care for refugees fighting epidemics or help victims of war. Well then, fighting epidemics is the correct answer. Number four. The Food and the Agriculture Organization, or the FAO, is a, is a specialized agency of the United Nations that leads international efforts to defeat hunger and improve nutrition and food security. Its Latin motto is Fiat Panis, which means let there be bread. The question is, which one of these is a the goal of the FAO? promoting education and knowledge, fighting famine, or health. And yes, good job. The answer is fighting famine. The last question. Nasty International, also referred to as Nasty or AI, is a non-governmental organization with its headquarters in the United Kingdom. The organization says it has more than 8 million members and supporters around the world. 
which one of these is a goal of the nasty nasty international one safeguarding human rights fighting famine three caring for refugees time <laughs> Then the answer is fighting famine. That's a good job. And well, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you've learned new things here and I will see you next time. Take care.